Module 3, Lesson 6, Objective. Multiply two digit multiples of 10 by two digit multiples of 10 with the area model. Let's say the vocabulary of the day together. Place value. Multiply. Factor times factor equals product. Multiple. Area model. Here we are multiplying a two digit number times a two digit number. What are some other ways we can express 3 times 20? We can say 310 times 2 tens. We can say 10 times 20 times 3. We can say 10 times 30 times 2. We can say 2 times 30 times 10. And finally, we can say 3 times 20 times 10. First, let's look at 10 times 20 times 3. So we know that we have two tens. And if we multiply these two tens by 10, that is going to give us two hundreds. And then we make three groups of two hundreds to give us a final product of six hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next, let's look at 10 times 30 times 2. So I know that we have three tens. And then we multiply that, those by 10, which will give us three one hundreds. And then I know that I have two groups over here, so we'll have two groups of three hundreds, which is equal to six hundred. Next, let's look at two times thirty times ten. So I know that there are three tens times two, which would give me a total of six tens. And then we take those six tens and we multiply those by ten. And then we have six hundreds. Finally, let's look at three times twenty times ten. So first, I know that there are two tens. And if we multiply two tens by three, we get six tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we take those six tens and multiply those by ten. And we end up with six hundreds. So no matter how you break apart thirty times twenty, whether it's three tens times two tens, ten times twenty times three, or ten times thirty times two, or 2 times 30 times 10, or 3 times 20 times 10. You will arrive at the same product, which is 600. Next, let's look at 40 times 20. So let's write this expression in unit form. This can be read as 4 tens times 2 tens. Now let's represent this in an area model. So I know that two tens can be split into two tens. And I know that four tens can be split into four tens. Now let's find the area of one box. The area of one box would be 10 times 10, which would be 100. So if the area of this is 100, this would be 100. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. So the total area of this would be 800. So if I were to take 4 times 2, I would get 8. And 10 times 10, I would get 100. And then 8 times 100 would be equal to 800. So you can also say that 4 tens times 2 tens equals 800s. 4 times 2 is 8, 
and 10 times 10 is 100. Next, let's look at 50 times 40. When we put this in unit form, it would be 5 tens times 4 tens. Now, let's take this and put this in an area model. We would have 4 tens up top, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 tens on the side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I know that the area of each one of these boxes is equal to 100. So let's count all the boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I know that I have 20 100s. This can be written as 20 hundreds or 2 thousands. Here again, 5 times 4 is 20. 10 times 10 is 100. 20 hundreds. 20 hundreds can also be written as 2 tens times 100. So break the 20 into 2 tens and the 100 you leave alone. So let's represent this on our place value chart with disks. So 2 tens, 1, 2, times 100. And if you break down 100, it would be 10 times 10. So we increase by 10, we have 2 hundreds. We increase by 10 more, we have 2 thousands. So 2 tens times 10 times 10 would be equivalent to 2,000. One last way to look at this would be to have 40 up top and 50 on the side. 50 times 40 is equivalent to 5 tens times 4 tens. Or you could say 20 hundreds. And 20 hundreds is equal to 2,000. So from today's lesson, remember, 10 times 10 is always 100. So I can decompose any unit of 10, multiply how many units of 10 there are, and it will be that many hundreds. So here's an example. 7 tens times 8 tens is 56 of some unit. I have to find that unit. So I know that 10 times 10 is 100, so it's 5,600 or 5,600.